Hi everybody, this is Shauna from Shauna.Plans on Instagram and here on YouTube. Today I want to show you the, the Pro Desk Kit from Pink Punch Studios. You can see I've already set up my daily layout here using a lot of elements from the Pro Desk Kit. Here I'll just give you a little glance at what's all included. Um, there's a fishbowl, a keyboard, got a desk pad and a mouse, a speaker and chargers. It's a lot of fun. Um, one of the cool things on here is this monitor and a lot of people in the group have been pasting images on the monitor to personalize their desktop even more. And I think mine, I've got a lot of black and silvers going on so I think a pop of color here would be really great. So Rochelle very kindly uh, posted in the group an image that you can download to use as a clipping mask in Procreate. So I've taken the link from the group already and I've pasted it into Safari and it takes me to this page here. So if I just long press on that image, I can say add to photos. And now that um, black image there is going to be in my photos. And you can see that shape fits this shape here on the monitor. So that's the shape that we need to fill. So now I'm going to go into Procreate. And I'm going to start, I've already picked a couple of images off the internet that I think would be good and I've saved them to my photos. So I'm going to tap photo and I'm, I've got these images here. So I'm just going to take this simple one. It's just some, some plain paint strokes. And I'm also going to insert that black clipping, that monitor shape that Rochelle gave us. And I'm just going to move it to where the colors kind of seem interesting. Now I need this image to be on top. So I'm just grabbing and dragging it to the top. I'm going to turn my background off. Now if I tap the picture, I can say clipping mask. And it's going to clip the image to the shape that's underneath it. So now if I tap the wrench, I can choose canvas, crop and resize. And we'll just... Bring the edges down so that the sticker is only as big as we need it to be. And I'm going to say done. And I'm going to go back to the gallery. If you just swipe, you can say share as a PNG. And I can either save it to my photos or I can just say copy. Now it's on my clipboard. I can go back into GoodNotes and I'm going to long press and paste. And there's my little image. And we just need to make it fit. which might be easier said than done. But there we go. So now we have a very bright looking <laughs> orange monitor screen. So that's a quick and easy way to just put something on your screen. Now I'm sure there's a million different ways of, of doing things, but what I like to do I'm going to choose this picture here that's got uh, the deer and the tree and everything. I'm going to do it a little different. So this time I'm just going to shrink it down. I'm going to go and turn off my background. So I just untap that check mark. And I'm going to choose the arrow and I'm going to say warp. And I want my advanced mesh on. And now you can kind of stretch the image <laughs> you can do all sorts of things i'm going to hit reset and put it back so what i want to do is i want to kind of smudge up the bottom because if you're looking at an image from the top down the top of the monitor is going to be uh, more the right perspective so i don't want to squish the top as much so now this space here i'm going to make the next one maybe half as much Is this so there's this distance and now this is about half as much it doesn't have to be precise and then we'll drag this part up to half again and so now I've squished the the aspects a little so it's the bottom you can see the tree is smaller at the bottom half than it is at the top half
So we've just kind of played around with the ratio a little bit just by grabbing these little blue handles. Um, I want to make sure that line stays somewhat straight. All right, so now I've got that aspect kind of munched a little bit. It's my technical word for the day, smunched. And I'm going to go back to add and insert a photo. And I'm going to grab that black monitor again. And I just want to make it just big enough to get as much in as we can. And I'll just position it where I want it in the picture. And again, I'm going to drag that to be my bottom layer. And now this top layer will tap the picture there and say clipping mask and it clips it down to the size that we've of the black underlying image. And go back to the wrench, choose canvas, crop and resize. We'll just shrink this canvas down so we don't have that extra blank space. So PNG, copy, so now I've got that image on the clipboard. And if I go back in, in a long press and press paste, and then my image pops up for me. And then we just need to line it up into the monitor. There we go. And so now you can see I've got that pop of color I'm looking for and the perspective feels like it's a little bit more realistic from the angle of looking down than what we had when we just used that just simply clipped one. So if you play around with that perspective with that warping tool and procreate a little bit, you can kind of make it look a bit more realistic. So there you go. Um, that's how to use the clipping mask. I will link the pro kit in my description in the, of the video, as well as the link to that little black shape. <laughs> um, if you have any questions, please send me a message and um, I hope that's helpful. See you next time. Bye.